My name is Jim Thomas and welcome to the Fitness Management Update. Our topic today is how to immediately improve the performance of your fitness center business. Now, we, we see this frequently in, in clubs that we go into, and the, the two things that we see that need to happen, number one is you, you need a different think. And it's one of my favorite uh, Donald Trump quotes when he said, as long as I'm going to be thinking, I just as well think big. And this is what needs to happen in every club that's out there, is we need to think big. Too often we think safe. We think reasonable, we think comfortable, we think, you know, at the low end of what's needed. And what you need really is to become unreasonable in how you're thinking. If you need, if you think you need a hundred members, well, set a goal to get a thousand, write a plan to get a thousand. You know, if you need, you know, five more personal trainers, uh, set a plan to get 20 more trainers, a uh, plan to get 30 more trainers. You need to think in bigger terms. Um, and everything that you do, okay, in revenue at the front desk, in revenue in group exercise, in revenue in child care, uh, membership performance. If the goal is to do 50, make it 100 and write the plan to do it. Because the reality is if you fall short of a goal of 100, you just might hit 70 or 80. If you set a goal of 70 and that's how you're – a goal of 50 and that's how you're thinking, if you fall short, you may hit 30. So change how you think. You must think big. Number two is you must raise your action. Really, everything is tied to action. Most club owners that we see, they significantly underestimate what it's going to take to get the word out to get this done. You know, most clubs are doing just a few things to attract attention to themselves. And you want to put an action plan together that actually creates a sense of being omnipresent in your community, whereby everywhere you turn, everywhere you look, you know, the customer, the consumer is seeing your name, your image, your phone number, and your contact information. And the, the first thing you have to do when you do this is simply commit to it. Don't, don't look at it and say, well, oh, that's too much. I'm overwhelmed. I can't do all that. No, commit to it first. And then start putting your plan together. Because when you change how you think, you choose to raise that action plan, you know, you're going to start thinking differently. And you're going to be finding ways where you can get ambassadors in your community, you know, real estate agents, leasing agents, the Chamber of Commerce, uh, local merchants, uh, networking events, you know, all these potentials for ambassadors to help represent your business, to help take you to that next level. But you must raise that action. So the two things you can do to immediately change the performance of your fitness center, a different think, you must think bigger than what you currently are. And number two, raise the action to what you're doing. A good rule of thumb is whatever you're doing now, multiply it by 10. My name is Jim Thomas. This has been the Fitness Management Update.